Hey folks, Jonathan here. Decided to get back on the tractor. And uh, this is a Belarus or Belarus, whatever you want to call it. And this is actually, there's so many names for these things, I don't know. This is a T25A. This one's not the 250. But uh, same tractor, it's my understanding. Sold them under a couple different names and stuff anyway, so who knows. Anyway, uh, finally made a decision on what we've got to do. And I'll go ahead and show you that. And the reason that I'm doing things the way that I'm doing, and uh, maybe you'll understand. Okay, if you watch the other video, you'll know that the shaft that runs down through with the governor on it has a gear on it. And that is uh, what the problem is. But from what I can feel, I can feel the gear moving really bad. So I know it's sheared the, uh, the key, but it's had to wear into the gear in the shaft. Also, my primer was leaking, so it needed rebuilt. And then I was having issues with... The cylinder that it was running on, I could not get this thing to quit leaking from around it. I don't know if there's a small crack in the head or what. So I looked around for some used pumps and couldn't find anything. I started looking at the part numbers and adding up what the price was going to be to fix this thing. And I started getting beyond what it was cost to replace it. So I have got a replacement pump and I'll show you it. Okay, here's our replacement. I bought this from uh, Lithuania. And believe it or not, I bought this pump Sunday. It was shipped out Monday, and I got it Wednesday. Three days total to get this pump from Lithuania to here. Now, it came DHL, and I, I just find it unbelievable that they could do it that quick. But it went from Lithuania to Ohio, from Ohio to Greensboro, and Greensboro to here. So we've got it. Uh, we're going to try to get it on. I don't know... For sure that this is a new pump I have my doubts but I don't know uh, if you notice these screws don't match the top screws uh, there's little things that just make it look like it might have been cleaned up in some spots uh, this pump total with shipping everything was $375 which uh, if you take an injector pump to have it rebuilt it's going to cost you you know every bit of $300 or used to be 275 I remember but I think they're well up over three now for uh, a little rotary pump uh, like a Rusa master but uh, but anyway I, I don't have a problem with the price as long as it works good and we're gonna get this thing on and get it in time I'll show you a little bit of how to get it in time and uh, we'll get this thing running and then uh, hopefully we'll have two cylinders all right okay first thing we're gonna do putting this pump on and the first thing you got to do to be able to time it, we're going to go ahead and clean up the gasket surface, go ahead and get the new gasket on it, get the pump on, get all the lines hooked up. Uh, we're not going to attempt to do anything timing-wise until the lines are hooked up and the pump's on. And basically what this does, this slides over the end of the pump, and you put the bolts in it, and it's got a bracket on it that runs the, uh, the tachometer, and that's how you time it. But... You can see all the holes all the way around that bracket and all the holes in this. So you pretty much got an option of uh, a lot of timing marks. So I'm going to show you how you do this. Uh, there's quite a few others that you can do the same way. And uh, some you can, some you can't. But uh, this will give you a good idea of how to put this particular injector pump in time for sure. Normally you would pull the number one valve cover and get it up on top dead center. Uh, there's always that chance of being 180 out. If you know how the valves work, you can figure that out without any issue. And I will show you that also. And uh, we can pull the we can pull the second you know valve cover, the rear valve cover off, and watch the other cylinder to be able to actually get it in time. But we're uh, we can do it with you know just the uh, the single one. So uh, I like to find bottom dead or uh let me rephrase that I like to find top dead center 180 degrees out first and once you find that then you can find top dead center really easy so i'll show you how that's done but let me go get this pump on get all the lines hooked up okay injector pumps on everything's hooked up uh i've got number two cylinder hooked up i got number one off uh because we're gonna have to be able to see the fluid in this or the uh diesel fuel to actually be able and get the uh, get it in time where we want it, uh, we got our primer primer here. We 
We'll get it pumped up. We'll get the fuel system primed now. There's enough fuel in this, it's gravity down to here, so it won't take anything to get it to prime. And what we need to do is basically turn this injector pump until our pressure in our system, once we you know pump it up, comes out of this hole. And this is you know, number one. And then uh, that'll give us a really good idea of where we need to be. Uh, won't quite be where we need to be, but that'll go ahead and get us a good start. And then also, I'm going to pull the valve cover, and we're going to roll the engine up on top dead center. And then after we do that, we've got to move the engine to where it would normally fire, which is not at top dead center, but it's close. So uh, most y'all know that an engine fires before top dead center, so. I'm not sure of the degrees on this, but it, we can go just by the marks they've got on it. All right. I'm going to roll it over until I get it where I need it at, and I'll show you. Okay. Now, the way that we tell that the piston's on top, but uh, 180 degrees out, Okay, we got our exhaust rocker that we're on the exhaust stroke. So the piston's coming up, it's pushing the exhaust out. Okay, what's getting ready to happen is this valve is going to come up and close, and the piston's going to be on top, and it's going to start the new stroke with the intake valve opening, piston coming down, sucking air in. So we know that when we get to the end of this exhaust stroke, just before this starts, the piston's on top. So we'll get it there. Of course, we're turning the engine clockwise. It's kind of hard to get in there to it, so bear with me here. All right, we got to be coming up on it. I'm looking at my marks now. All right, and we know that Okay. We're almost there. It's just about all the way closed. Right there. Yeah, it looks like according to the mark I went past it a little bit. Okay. So we know the exhaust valve is just closed. The intake valve is getting ready to open. Here's our mark. And here's our timing mark. So we just went just a little bit past it, but it's not a big deal. We know that we need to make one full rotation and bring this mark back to here, and we'll be on top dead center. And that's how you can do it without pulling plugs or, you know, on a gas engine, of course, or pull injector or anything like that on a diesel. So let's turn it one turn, bring it back up to that mark, and then uh, we'll be able to set our uh, timing from there. Okay. Right there is top dead center, and I'm not sure they got a B something M on it, at, you know, but it that is top dead center. So what we've got to do is we've got to counterclockwise back up the engine. There's two marks here, but basically what we're doing is is we're we're uh, backing up the time the or backing up the engine so the injector pump will inject before top dead center. So as this engine turns clockwise this way it's turning you know from our top dead center away from these marks so we want to turn it backwards so you know the it'll actually fire before top dead center but let's back it up here real quick to to write in them marks and we know we will be, able, be really close okay now to time the pump this is number one injector port what we want to do is we want to turn the pump slowly with a ratchet until we see that fuel just start to rise when we see it start to rise, we'll know that we need our, where we need to be. Right there. You see it come up and let off of it and it, it bounces back. So that's where we need to be. So we should be able to leave that where it's at. 
Okay. And it's not hard to get it to that position to where the fuel is just up in there. This goes on, and it only goes on the pump one way. But once you get it on, it might be going backwards. No, that's right. Once you get the piece on, okay, now you find out where two holes line up at. And I think it's going to be this one and the other one. Two straight across from each other. And then this bracket, this bracket, and these two bolts with this, uh, this actually drives the uh, the can of uh, the uh, RPM tachometer drive is what it times. But you find the two that's lined up and put the bolts in. I've got it in time here. Got it bolted down. So I've just got to run and get, grab the battery to throw in it and just see if it'll start. Uh, I don't know. We can uh, if it'll start. Maybe we can. Uh, determine if it needs advanced or retarded or whatever and we can change it so I'm going to leave this top of the front off long enough to start it so all right let's see what happens oh, we got it running pretty good shut it off and restart it here See how easy it restarts. Hopefully pretty easy. Timing is really tough to get exactly right. You got a lot of fine tuning that you can do on it. not bad we still may have to do a little bit uh, you know all you got to do is pull this cover off and take the two bolts out and just clock it and you know you can have, there's so many holes there that you can actually move this thing and just change the timing just a very little bit but uh, seems to be doing pretty good and uh, we will definitely uh, keep at it and make sure this thing's uh, gets all straightened out but I think it's going to be fine I don't think there's any issues with it not with the tractor itself anyway I guess that's about it I appreciate everybody watching and uh, you know that's uh, one way that you can time these things it's sort of called fluid timing where you're timing from the fluid because I didn't have any good info on this thing at all and uh, seems like there's not much of it on the internet not not in English anyway so uh, you know like I said we may have to fine-tune it a little bit but we're gonna run it a while and see how she does and but anyway I uh, I do appreciate everybody watching and uh, till next time bye